Hi everyone, Kev Muldoon here. I'm back with my Google Nexus 6P. And in my last video I did an unboxing and what I'd like to do just now is just show you the setup process and how you can transfer all your data from your, your older Android phone to your new one. Now, you can see here, I've selected English, United Kingdom. Now, it comes up an option to copy Google accounts and that's what I want to do. Okay, um, the one step it missed out there was select Wi-Fi network, but I'd previously entered it, so that's why it skipped there. So, when you go to the next screen, I asked you to go to your other phone and load up Google settings. So, it should be in your app list. You can see there, that's the kind of icon there with the big G. And you have to scroll down to set up nearby device. You see it down here at the bottom. And now on my HTC M8, my HTC One M8 is saying your phone's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi data will be used. So what it's going to do is going to search for devices, and you can see it's coming up the Nexus 6P, and it's connecting to the device. Now it's confirming that the the code is correct, and it is. Confirm my screen lock, which I'll do. Just now, okay. Now, now um, I'm just asked to copy. That's all there seems to be to it on the, um, the HTC M8. So I've got a, a, a range of kind of options here. I've got options to automatically back up device data, let Google's location service help apps improve location accuracy help improve your Android experience. I'm happy for all that too. Google will get every piece of information about me anyway, so it's not something I can back out of now. Surprised it's taking that long. So I'm not sure what it's going to do now, if it's going to download the applications or if it's going to download emails or texts or I'm not sure. Um, you can use set up a personal email address, which I'm going to do just now. Okay, so I'm just setting up my Hotmail account. And once I'm finished now, I can just click the next. Okay, so now I have an option to set up a fingerprint pattern, set up a pin pattern or password, or don't set up anything. Um, for years I've been using the pattern to protect my Android phones, but obviously we've got a fantastic fingerprint sensor on this so that's what I'm going to be using so let's get through and we'll try this out okay Nexus and Prince uses your fingerprint be careful blah 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 okay right okay I'll set up a pattern no I don't want addition I can solve this later okay I'll put in a pattern So that's obviously the backup. Um, okay, um, once you've set up your pattern or your password or your PIN, um, you can choose what um, what kind of notifications are shown on your lock screen. I've just chosen to hide sensitive information. I don't even know what sensitive notification content would be, but okay. Okay, the sensor on the back. Put your finger on the sensor. I'm trying to think how it told it. I assume it'll be my forefinger. Move it around. So if they if they lift my finger up, have you seen that? If they lift it up and put it back down, like so. It vibrates a little bit when I do that. So just to keep touch, touching it, I think it's just so it gets all the parts of my finger. So you can, that's quite, a, that's something I wasn't sure about. You can add another fingerprint to it. So that's quite useful if you want to add like your girlfriend or your your brother or mother or dad or whatever. You can add someone else's fingerprint to it to unlock your phone. Um, Google Now. Yes, I will take that. And that's more setting up. Okay, what else? Get your apps and data. So, 
in the next page here, it's got all your apps and data. It threw me up there because it's asking for my Lenovo tab, which I don't really use that much. Um, and I don't want to... I don't want to renew from that. I want to renew from... Um, but it seems to have all my apps here. It seems to have got all the apps from my Amazon, uh, from my HTC One Eight. So I'm not sure why it's coming up and over there. You can see all my apps here. So I'm just going to click next. I can always do this again later if nothing works out properly. And now it's going to install all those applications. So I'm just set this here so I don't scratch it. I'm always paranoid when you get a new phone because in the past I've actually. You know, I've been close to dropping it just before I've put a case on it, so I'm always um, careful about it. I've done that with this one <laughs> last year. I actually um, I took the case out before charging it, um, and then I dropped it. Okay, so it's still going through the restoring process. So after five minutes or so, I started getting notifications and um, playing a noise that everything was ready. So we'll try and fingerprint, open it, there we go. Um, now, the first thing it's asking me is, do I want to open with Google Now Launcher or with Nova Launcher? Um, I'll go with the Google Launcher just now, because obviously I want to get the stock Android experience. And there we go, that's we got it. And all my apps have been installed and everything's been transferred over. Now I'll need to check whether um, other things have been transferred over like text messages and what of that. Um, I assume I need to do that separately. But that's that's how easy it is to connect your phone to your Google account to transfer applications over. Um, it really is very, very easy to do. It doesn't take long. Um, it probably takes about a minute or two to just go through the process and then just five or six minutes just getting kind of for apps and whatnot to be installed. The process is very easy though, so you shouldn't have a problem with it whatsoever. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you get any questions about the process, please do leave a comment below. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider liking or subscribing. Till next time guys, thanks for watching.